I'm gonna show you how to build a dashboard that's very simple like this, that gives you everything you need to know about a promotion. Hey, my name is JJ from Vision Labs. Let's hop in, buckle down. Here's what we're promoting, here's why it matters. Uh, we are doing a workshop right here with David from Omniscient about how to get outranked in, with your competitors, with AI. Super cool dude, I talk with him about once a month and that he runs Omniscient. So. Here is uh, the super early. This is about four weeks before the promotion. Uh, there was a test promo that was sent out here and we have some data pulled in. So what we've got is we've got the actual page views, we've got registers, we've got conversions, we have the sources. And then here we have everything that's trended over time with the viewed and registered. We can also click on this to see the actual emails. I'm gonna blur these for you so you can only see the Vision Labs ones, but you can see who has registered here. And if you want to, you can always add an annotation of like, hey, we put in, uh, we've put a promo on the site here. And you can then add a little annotation to that report if you would like to right there. So super helpful to build these dashboards out for promotions and you can have them. I'm gonna show you this very quickly because it's awesome. Everything's here. You can watch recordings if you'd like to and say, hey, let me see this recording for why these people who spent three minutes on the site, they didn't actually register. Why not? Let's watch. And they probably just forgot. So there we go. So. This is what we're gonna build. I'm gonna show you that right now. So let's just start from scratch. I'm gonna not pull any of these things together and I'm gonna hop into dashboards. We're gonna create a new dashboard right now. And the first thing you always wanna do is name this because it will always say new dashboard and you will forget. So I'm gonna call this test and YouTube, all right? Because you're watching me do this. Now, the thing to understand is you have this combination of insights and dashboards. Insights are a combination of any type of data you'd like to pull together into a chart. This is really, really pronounced inside of product analytics tools. We're gonna to use this for our marketing. So marketing and product, you know, product marketing is something like the same. And we're gonna build these together. So I'm gonna build all these insights for this dashboard. I would recommend if you are a customer of ours watching this and you want to have your own dashboard built up, we would focus more on the data ingestion to get this where it's more scalable, where you can copy the entire dashboard or add a breakdown. I will talk more about that in the future here on YouTube, but if just know if you are implementing this yourself, this is the quick and dirty way of doing it. And if you focus on the data ingestion, you can get this where you can copy and paste an entire dashboard in a matter of seconds and just add a filter. So here we go. Let's add in these. I'm gonna create a new insight and let's show you exactly how to build these. So the first thing everyone asks is how do you put a scorecard where there's a number? How do you do that? It's right over here. So nine chart, we're gonna be making a number and I'm going to be putting in the page view, the total count, and I want to look at the number of unique users, right, who then saw that page. So filter, add a filter. We're gonna look at the current URL of that user, right? And then we are going to say where it contains, and we're gonna use these this URL up here. So workshops, outranking, competitors. And I'm just gonna copy this over, and I'll show you why we're gonna say contains and not use the exact. So contains, I'm gonna paste that in and then just hit enter. And so over the last seven days, we've had nine unique users to the page. Hey, so I think you're considering looking at Post Hog if you and your organization would like to have an implementer who knows what we're talking about. Our entire team uses Post Hog every single day to build reporting and systems and trainings for organizations to get better at using product and marketing data in one location. We can do so many things following the data order of operations that we have built out to make your data profitable and utilized for the entire organization. Feel free to reach out at visionlabs.com forward slash contact. Uh, again, we've had a promotion, we've had a lot of things, so, it, and this is really far out, so don't worry about our numbers. We'll usually get about 200 people that register for any one of our events, don't worry. Okay, so now we need to come up here and say, hey, what are we gonna call this? We're gonna call this uh, test because it's for YouTube, All right? test YT, which you'll see we are in that already. And then we're gonna say, uh, this is a workshop, David viewed. So what we've done here is create the orchestration of the, if it is specific to a dashboard, what it is, who it is, like what the promotion is, and then what the step step is of that. So here we go, save and add to dashboard. We now have the number of views here, and I'm gonna change this dashboard, and we're gonna say, hey, this is the last 30 days, or something like that. 
My personal favorite here is you can do custom date range until now. I know that our first promotion for this went out, I believe on the 17th or 18th. So that was the first day that it was ever promoted. So this dashboard will now keep getting updated until it actually occurs. Great thing for launches or anything along those lines where you have a start date and then an end date. Uh, you can then drag this around and edit that. So cool, we've got that. We now have one insight on the page. Let's now add a second insight and I'm going to create another one. And we are going to do not viewed, but we are going to add a new insight, which will be registered. And we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're gonna have a number chart. It is going to be this time. We we actually sent over events from our CRM. We have an event called workshop registered and we have a parameter of that event or a property that is called workshop name. And so here it's kind of nice because we can just select quickly which workshop was registered. And we have had in the last seven days, these three workshops. So outranking competitors in AI search and we've had 11 total registrations. And so we can do total counts and you can also do unique users. If we had some double registrations, it will then deduplicate those because I was in there double registering all the time. So we now have that registered, save and add to dashboard. We now have our overarching numbers here. So bam, uh, if we hit E, which is to for edit layout, you can then drag this over there. So. Now, how do you actually get a line chart or anything else? This is where you wanna start getting things spicy. So I'm gonna add in another new insight and we will call this test workshop registered. And I'm gonna do viewed registered trend. And we're gonna do something very similar. We're gonna change this to unique users. We are going to add that same exact filter where the current URL and that contains this exact thing hit enter on that and then we are going to add in another one so add graph series and we are going to say when the event name is workshop registered and ta-da there we go so now we have the workshop registered which is b oh wait we need to add the right the right actual one so give me a sec here bam workshop name and it equals into outranking competitors in AI search. So now we've built a little double trend line so we can see quickly at a glance what's happening out here. Uh, we did have some tests, so again, apologies for if you see numbers that are not 100% making sense here, it's because we're doing a lot of testing because it's so far in advance. So the coolant R contains there, unique users, bam, total count of unique users, bam. We always wanna make sure you're comparing unique users to unique users. And there we go, folks. We are now off to the races. So I'm gonna hit save and add to dashboard. All right, and now we can see here how things are trending. I'm gonna just hit E on my keyboard and we're gonna move this down here. Okay, now we're gonna drive this all the way across the side just cause I like it big and bold. And you can see here, we can probably move the date of this to be the 19th cause that was when the first promotion was ever sent. Oh, it's on the 20th, there we go. And now we're gonna look at how do we add a conversion rate? Well, how are we doing on this? Imagine you have a bunch of volume, here we go. So I'm gonna, um, actually, I think we can actually, let's just do this. I'm gonna teach you how to duplicate. So if you duplicate this, it will then create another one down here and it will see trend copy and let's hit edit. So I'm gonna create this and we're gonna call this conversion rate. How do you get conversion rates is something that people, uh, it, it's one of the most non-intuitive things that you can see inside of Posthog. We're gonna hit enable formula mode, dun dun dun. And then we're gonna change this baddie to a number. Oh, we have to do the actual formula. So here's the formula down here. And what we're gonna do is that these, each of these is now given a variable of A and B. So what we can do is B divided by A and we're gonna call this conversion rate. And so now we have this as a conversion rate, but what we need to do is we need to multiply this by 100, right? So just do everyone who knows their what, PEMDAS or whatever. Uh, this will then give us that. And now we can then change this from a number line chart to a number. So we are out here crushing it. And then we wanna change this as an option and change this from a unit to a percentage. So we are converting 67% of people. We're gonna hit save and add to dashboard. And then if you ever get confused, hit dashboards and it will tell you where it is. So test YouTube, that's where we are. And there we are. So I'm gonna hit push E on my keyboard. We're gonna hippity hop up here and we're gonna drag this to be slightly smaller. Okay, there we go. We're 22 people saw the page, six have registered, 27% conversion rate. There we go, folks. I'm gonna make these smaller. I'm gonna show you how to rename them right now. So what you can do is hit edit oopsies, wrong button, not edit, rename. And we're gonna call this 
saw offer. We're going to call this And then we're going to call this conversion rate. And then we're going to make these a bit smaller because I want to then fit in the others. So here we go. And you can hide some of these other pieces. Like I'm not going to dive into all the like cleaning up. We're just going to get to the meat and potatoes right here. So I want to put a, a thing of where the traffic sources are. So I'm going to hit save. We're going to add one more insight. Actually, let's just copy this. I want to see the uh, actual uh, number of people who saw it, and I want to duplicate this. We're going to hop down here, and we're going to edit that. So, saw offer traffic source. Okay, so how do we get traffic sources? What we're going to do is we're going to change this from a number, and we're going to make this a table. Actually, I'm going to get a bar chart. We're, we're cheating bar chart then what we're going to want to do and you could add in multiple of them here it just gets kind of very confusing we're going to add the breakdown here of i want the initial user utm that's what it's called i don't know why it's taking a second here Okay, so we have event properties here of UTMs. We don't want the event properties because if someone navigated from a different page to this page, it's gonna be tied to the event. We want the person properties and we want the initial uh, source. The initial UTM source. That is where the user initially found us from. Uh, it gives us a really good source of truth and then we could use initial last as another one. So here, if we wanted to go back to this, UTMs, we can go to person properties and initial latest UTM source. So now there's two breakdowns. Again, this will get very confusing and it probably won't be that different because uh, the majority of people are from this promotion just came from their list. Uh, but let's just take a moment. So here we have this double breakdown here of HubSpot none active campaign. Uh, again, you can use this to your while. I'm just gonna keep it simple and we're gonna have to keep source. And we're gonna rename this up here and we're gonna call this we're just going to call it saw offer. And you'll see the little hedgehog next to that because it is a, a post hog native field. We're then going to say save on this. We're going to go back to our dashboard. There we go. And we are going to hit the E button on our keyboard. We're going to drag this up here and make it a little bit shorter. And we can rename this here. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, but you get the idea. So we can hide some of these things here and I'm gonna hit save. And now we've got a ba basic dashboard. So we now have built what, exactly what we were looking at. Uh, a lot of ways to do this more efficiently by adding filters and breakdowns natively up here, but we'll talk about that later. I wanted to show you how to use like the sniper in your head of like, I know exactly what I need. How do I build this? This is usually 60 to 80% of what most people on product or uh, event marketing are looking for. Uh, you can quickly see how many people saw the thing, how many people registered, the conversion rate of that, how many people saw the offer and where they came from. We could add in a conversion rate one right below it so you can see that maybe the conversion rates per source or the registrations per source. Um, and then you can go from there. So we know we're converting at 27.27%. .27%. Uh, we've had 22 people see the offer. We've had six registered and during this time range. Uh, if you would like to join this <laughs> exact thing, uh, all you've got to do is head on over to this URL. Ah, and this URL will go and you can register and see David and myself uh, on September 24th, which is about a month away uh, from whenever I'm recording this. And then hopefully you will see me there with a few hundred other people uh, seeing how to outrank your competitors using AI search.